The paintings of artist George Kovash are of another place in time. Still, whatever Kovash chooses to paint, his landscape seems so real, the viewers may feel as if they could step right into the scene. Every painting I do, I can see that I can do it better. It challenged me to go on and create and try different things. My name is George Kovach, and I am a fine artist. I do every kind of conceivable art there is. I do Santa Clauses, I do nostalgia, I do a lot of landscapes. I uh, do everything i challenged with. I've always enjoyed art as a kid. I like to draw and paint and, and that. I just uh, was fortunate where I live in Texas that um, art was selling and uh, so I stepped out of my job as a, a law enforcement and uh, started painting full time back in 1972. So uh, it's been a long career and uh, I've got quite a large body of work out there. My landscapes, uh, you don't have to please anybody but yourself. That's what I like about landscapes. And a tree is a tree, you know. So I kind of balance my life with painting for myself, which is landscapes, and then painting other things, like commissions for other people. In Texas, I do a lot of Texas Hill Country paintings. That, that takes care of that side of me. Up here, I do a lot of nostalgic things, and, and I enjoy that immensely, too, because it's, it's such a diversion from, from just plain landscapes, and that's, I can build on houses and scenes like that. It, it uh, reminds me of my growing up days. Uh, I grew up on a farm in Ohio and then moved to Florida, so I, I've seen both the north and the south, and so um, I draw on my um, experiences as, as a kid. A lot of that is uh, imagined. I'll, I'll see something, um, I might sketch it there on location or I'll take photographs, but I like to take a piece here, piece there, and then build my own town and uh, just create my own world, in fact. It's just two different worlds I play in, fine art and kind of commercial art, too. The painting uh, is titled Treasured Times, and it is a, a compilation of different scenes that I've seen. I've got a building that I actually saw in, in uh, Georgetown, north of uh, Austin, Texas. I really was inspired by that. And I used that as uh, one of the main buildings in the painting. I set it back into the 1950s. So I used models of a Ford and a Chevrolet, the popular cars then. And then I put the, the theater in there and, and the gimbals and pennies and a lot of things that we recognize from uh, the days back in the 50s and 60s. There's uh, the Marcus uh, Theater, which is a really uh, noted spot in, in Milwaukee in this area. The final thing was put the boy and the little dog and the birds in, and which just kind of completed the whole picture. All that uh, will bring back a lot of memories. I start with small little thumbnail sketches. And then normally I'll just take a canvas and I'll just start right off the bat. I'll, I'll draw it in. If it's a building, I usually draw that in first. On my landscapes, it's a little different situation. I just go directly with brush and paint and start painting. But uh, when you do detail, you want to be correct. So I use photographs and uh, I just use all the tools that uh, I muster up to get these things into the right perspective and such. I'll probably do an underpainting of acrylic, and which doesn't harm the painting or anything, and then I, I paint oil over the top of that. So that's just kind of the process I've been used to all these years, and it's, it's worked well for me. If you get up close, it looks like Impressionism, <laughs> but uh, I like to make it look as real as possible, but yet still, I, I, I'm not too crazy about making it look like a photograph. I want the, the person to see that, that I have my own personality in my painting. I wish they could get that uh, warm feeling like back in the 50s and the 60s, how times are a little bit slower then, and uh, get a nice feeling. 
that shouldn't be your main goal is to sell your work. It's, you should be doing, you should be painting uh, to satisfy your creativity. I just paint for myself and, and if I satisfy myself then that's, that's fine with me. <laughs> You can learn more about George Kovash on the Detroit Reforms website.